Hey, how are you doing today? Well, I am getting ready for an audition and I thought you might want to join me. Today, um, don't, it's not like I'm spending a lot of time on it. All of my makeup is still packed up from the short film that I was just working on. If you haven't been following along, I just produced a short film with a good friend of mine and we had a great special effects makeup artist but he let me do my own beauty makeup and just like got in and tweaked a little here and there. So I packed up all my makeup for the film. So everything's still all packed up here. Did very basic makeup on the film. But get things unpacked here. Well, I'll go into them as I need. Today I thought I would do sort of a sun-kissed look. We... We started planning a vacation yesterday. We started planning a vacation for our fourth anniversary. So we're gonna go someplace. We're thinking we might go to Mexico. So we're looking into all that now. We just started talking about it last night. So I am feeling inspired by tropical. However, the weather outside is not fully tropical yet. So I do have shorts on for my audition but I'm still wearing the sweater because it's not super warm. And this is going to be a fairly quick makeup. Mostly because I don't have a lot of time. When do I ever? And, you know, in the summertime, you're not wearing a lot of makeup. So while this is not an actual going out on a 98 degree high humidity day makeup, this is just faking it for camera. I hope you can still find something, somewhere, some part of it that works for you in your life. I received from NARS a couple of nice gifts and I'm going to play with those today. I got, look at this cheek palette, you guys. <gasps> Is that not amazing? Look at those colors. I'm sorry, I'm blinding you. Look at those colors. Those are just gorgeous. They all have a little bit of a shimmer. I love these, these highlights, these different shades. I'm really gonna have fun with this. I think I may even use these as my eyeshadow because you know I'm incredibly lazy about eyeshadow. All these wonderful palettes in the world and I just keep using blush on my eyelids. As I have gotten older, I have really no interest in doing fancy makeup. <laughs> I put on just enough. I don't want to cut crease. I don't, I mean, I like a smoky eye sometimes, but anyway, today, as the hot flash kicks in, yay. Ooh, do we want to put the hair up for doing the makeup? Let's put the hair up for doing the makeup. And we will style the hair at the end. Okay, I've been using my NARS foundation, which I really enjoy, but I thought, since I'm trying to get a little more of a sun-kissed look, I thought I would do my IT Cosmetics CC Cream in medium. The medium is a touch darker than I am at right now because I have no tan. And I'm going to thin that out because I don't like a heavy foundation. So I'm going to use my Kula SPF 30. These are the Sun Silk Drops. And I just never mind what they are as a sunscreen. I like using it just to thin out my makeup a little bit. And hey, added sunscreen. You can see I just do that on my palette and then ah, as brushes go everywhere batten down the hatches Monique okay so mm, I'm gonna do a little under eye concealer before I put the foundation on this is my NARS Canel light 2.75 it is their soft matte complete concealer
And as always, you don't have to do this whole look. You don't have to do every step. Just because I am doing those steps doesn't mean they're right for you. If you don't like foundation, don't put foundation on. Honestly, most times in day-to-day -day life, not an on-camera audition, I'm not wearing foundation. I'm doing a little bit of concealer, and then I take my soft blend concealer brush. It's an F64 from Sigma, and then I just sort of buff it out. So if I were not going on camera, this is it. I wouldn't do any foundation, but I'm going on camera. Mix these two together. Pounce, 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 pounce. You can see that is not very much foundation for doing my entire face. Once again, there you go. I used very, very little foundation. I applied it as sheer as I possibly could. And I think that's a, a real key to looking good in summertime is really reduce your foundation coverage. And this was, again, just a CC cream that I thinned out even further with the Sun Silk Drops. Probably would skip powder in a real life situation, but I'm not living in real life. I'm living in Hollywood. <laughs> so I'm doing a little powder. This is black opal. I do like a teensy bit of a contour. And I don't want to use a contour that has a shimmer to it. So I'm gonna go with my NARS Full Dimension One. And the reason I use so much NARS, guys, is they send it to me for free. And I love NARS, and they send it to me for free, so I use it. You use whatever product you like. But I've been liking this because it's just not very dark and I'm not very dark. So very little on the... And you really want it to be imperceptible. Ooh, now I'm gonna try new blush. Let's see, which one should we try? 
The center one looks like orgasm, yes. So this one is the traditional NARS orgasm, and that's their, their, found, their concept for this entire line. It's their orgasm, uh, orgasm on the beach. This is a limited edition palette that is now available at Sephora for a limited time. So it's all based on this traditional orgasm. I'm gonna try, let's go in with this peach color. Oh, that's pretty. That's subtle. That's gonna be really nice in the summertime. It's just a tiny hint of shimmery peachy gold. Really pleased with that. I'm gonna um, try to add a little bit more of a sun-kissed look. I think I'm gonna go in with just a touch of this. I'm gonna try this brown. They call it Zuma. Just for a little. Nice, really sheer. Super pleased with that. It's really just more, almost more of a highlight than a color. So great way to just add a little sun-kissed look. Don't forget your nose when you're doing a sun-kissed look. Okay, let's try some eyeshadow. Usually I use the, uh, the matte NARS, uh, the brown that I put on my, my contour. I usually use that as my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna try this brown that I just used as my eyeshadow. See how that works. Sigma brush that I've loved everything off of. It came in the same kit of Sigma products that I'll drop a link down below. It's very warm. It's very, it, it goes much orangier on my lids than I would have anticipated. Which is not a problem, it's just good to know. Okay, let's do as a highlight on my lid, let's try this one. Very nice, very subtle. Gonna smudge everything out with a clean brush just because it's important to know what you're good at and what you're not good at. And I'm not good at seeing where I need to blend. Because of that, I just sort of blindly blend. Just to make sure that I've gotten those edges softened. Oh, definitely a difference there. Everything back in the container now that I'm no longer want to try just for kicks. I'm dying to know how this how bright this is. This bright color. Pretty. Everything's got a very high sheen to it. And everything's quite sheer. 
which is just exactly what you want for summertime. And I actually feel like that might be a bit much. Let's do a little highlight. I think there's probably enough sheen on my cheeks. I don't need to add any more. And do I want to do something under the eye? Let's try it. Got a flat bristled brush, again from that same Sigma palette, going in with this brown, and I'm gonna just tap a little bit under the eye. And that's really much oranger than it looks here. Really surprising. It comes out much oranger on my face than it does on the palette. Not a problem, just now that I'm aware of it, I will act accordingly. The redness of my eyebrows from the microblading, yeah, it bugs me too. So I have just been taking a bit of my Naturally Pretty It Cosmetics palette because it's all matte, and I've been using a little mix of brown and the, the charcoal on my eyebrows. I love having the microblading because I can see where to put the eyebrows, but I do still find that I'm adding a little color to them. Plus, I like... I like a dark defined brow. So you can see, I just sort of, I know this palette's a mess. Just tap in each one. I'm gonna get a little closer for this. And I always start at the underside of my brow and I make it a little flatter. A flatter brow rather than a super high arch is a little more youthful. Once you get those, especially if you're doing Botox and you get those, those Spock brows where they kind of like, woo, you want to sort of like calm them down a little bit. This one especially goes quite high. Since it's already up high, I try to fill in lower and create a thicker brow rather than emphasizing how high it is. Still looking very, very thick right there. I don't love it. It always does that when you're, let's see. Let's see if I can bring that out. I do not like that brow at all. It looks terrible. We're gonna start over. We're starting over on that brow. A little Meissler water. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I got a little too thick in there. Okay, take two on the eyebrows. Going in, some of the dark. Extend that tail.
I always find it easiest to start on the bottom and then fill in from there. I'm using an angled brush that came from an old Mary Kay kit that a girlfriend gave me. Thank you, Liz. She always sends me a text after she sees one of my videos where I'm using this. She's like, oh, I get such a kick out of it that you still use that brush I gave you. Yep, they're dark, agreed, but they're better than red. I'm gonna take some of that same almost black, it's, it's their noir, matte, same angled brush, and just right on the upper. Just a little, not much. I'm going to line my lips with a NYX pencil in natural. Slightly overdrawing and giving them a little roundedness on the upper. Then bringing it all the way down underneath on the bottom and then in on the corners. And this is a NARS lip balm in orgasm. It's lovely. It's sheer and very moist. And I just love that, that pinky gold color. It's so perfect for summertime. I'm gonna do a quick tight line on my upper eyelids because you know that's my thing. Also going to turn the curling iron on now because we're getting there. About time to do the hair, let that heat up. And I do the top lining. I, I love to do the tight lining on my upper lid. It's my liner and it helps my mascara just look better. For, for me personally, this is like my most important step in the makeup. So you can see for me, tight lining is everything, but we all have our own thing. That may not be yours. And I know a lot of people, your eyes water like crazy when doing this. And yes, mine do too. So that's why I'm pausing and talking a lot right now. Quick curl on the lashes. I did a commercial for Thrive Cosmetics a while ago. This is their Instant Eye Brightener in Stella. really have been enjoying that. 
And I've also been enjoying their mascara. Uh, their eyelash liquid lash extensions mascara. It's great for elongating your lashes It's not so good for making them really thick and clumpy But if you want your eyelashes really long, it's really nice for that. It really does extend them You can see what one coat does. Oh, got a ball there. Oh well. That. set for a minute and then fix it and then I will get to the lower lashes in a minute did I even bring a hairbrush no I did not I have a comb somewhere About half my hair washed today. I'm super lazy with the extensions. They're great for only washing half my head. So I just take the top half and wash it and just leave the rest. So the extension hairs only get washed every few days. My own hair gets washed every couple of days. And I've got some heat protectant on it. Not doing a really dramatic look. I'm just gonna go with some soft barrel waves. Just a little bit of a natural wave, sort of beachy. By the way, in case you can't tell, my arm is doing way better. Yay! I was experiencing frozen shoulder. And as you know, I had frozen shoulder on my right arm because I've had calcific tendonitis there. And then all of a sudden, a couple weeks ago, it started happening with my left arm. And I've never had an injury on my left arm. As far as I know, I don't have a calcium deposit growing on that shoulder. So when it started happening, I was taken aback and I couldn't get into the doctor right away. But what I did was I started taking anti-inflammatories 
and I immediately went right to work on doing the physical therapy, doing the pendulum swings and strength exercises on that shoulder, which was uncomfortable, but I'm so glad that I recognized the signs and immediately took action and it's better. It's not 100%, but it's way, way, way better and totally livable. So very pleased about that. So if you start to, if you've had frozen shoulder in the past and the other one goes, you already know what to do to treat it. Get to it immediately. And if you've never had frozen shoulder, let's hope you don't. See the extensions in there. They're getting ready to be redone. And this extension here is kind of on its last legs. They, they last, a set of extension here is gonna last about a year. And I'm coming up on a year. And so what I am going to do for my very last hurrah on this set of extensions is I am going to dye them purpley blue. That's the plan, we'll see if I chicken out. But I think for summertime, it would be fun to have my natural gray hair on top and a purpley blue underneath. So that's what I'm talking about doing with my hairdresser. And we'll know in a couple of weeks whether I did it or whether I chickened out. of a big decision because it could uh, hugely impact my employment <laughs> but it might also benefit my employment you never know somebody may like that funky look on a gray-haired woman in any case it pleases me and that's what matters What happens if I love it? What if I want to keep it? What if I want to start doing every color of the rainbow? What if I decide I never want to work again? Because <laughs> that's probably what would happen. blind I have no idea what's going on back there and this piece just decided it does not want to have any part of curling like the rest of it but maybe that'll give it a natural sort of look and then again maybe we try it one more time Good enough. Curling right off. Okay, let's let these curls cool. Little mascara on the bottom lashes.
can still see how dehydrated I am. I'm very dehydrated from working on that film. Every time I work on a film, I get dehydrated. And this one, I became exceptionally dehydrated. summertime casual look. Perfect for my audition today. Don't know how it's going to hold up in a real world 98 degree, 80% humidity day. I would uh, put my hair in a ponytail and skip the makeup entirely on that day, personally. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. I'm going to go put on high heels, which are ridiculous with shorts, but that's what you do with auditions because you want to make your legs look like they're longer than they are and slimmer than they are and they are not tan. <laughs> but it is what it is. I have I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I love you bunches and I will talk to you very soon.